with a tutorial on how to make your drums sound a little bit more complete um give it that that good you know eq effect um i'm only going to be using the eq uh i got a reverb and a delay um and those are the only things i'm going to be using to give my drums a, a different little kick um i just recorded a, a nice little break beat um so let me go ahead and play that for you this is with no effects on it whatsoever this is how the samples came alright now with just the drums by themselves they sound great but um, once you start adding stuff in, frequencies start to get tangled up. Uh, instruments start fighting for different frequencies. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you how to EQ a uh, instrument <clears throat> that's um, inside of the redrum. Okay. So first thing you want to do, hit tab, flip your rack around. You're going to come down right below it. And I myself, I personally like to use the M class uh, equalizer. Also, make sure you hold shift so that way it doesn't automatically uh, route itself to um, set up. So you go, you go ahead, you unplug all this stuff from the output. Let me zoom in from the output of your. Uh, of your read drum, you're gonna put that on the inputs of your equalizer. All right, that's sending the signal from the read drum to there. Now you need to send the signal from the equalizer up to the mixer, so that way it can be heard. So now, um, since I didn't equalize anything yet, I didn't uh, EQ anything, so it should sound just as uh, I got it. All right. The way you check that is by coming over here to this little thing called the bypass. All right. This right here. Just flip that up. All right. And it bypasses it. But we're going to actually start EQing this. So I'm going to hit solo for just the bass. I'm going to go ahead and start playing it. You can also turn off the click. Alright. Now I wanna I wanna give this um a little bit more of a, a bump feel like boom. Alright. So I turn on the low cut here. Fix this for you a little bit. There we go. Alright. Now on the low shelf. I gain, I throw in a little bit of gain, and then I flip the frequency and put the Q on, just so I can find what I'm looking for. All right, it's all too far over. There we go. I'm starting to find it. Try not to make it too loud. When you're EQ and bass, you want to make sure that you stay around uh, plus six decibels if you're going to knock it up and negative six decibels if you're going to take it down. So that way when you're doing your final mix, you're not going to lose too much of your sound and you're not going to have too much of a sound to where everything's peaking. Alright? So once you have all of that, because I don't like... Um, I don't need the high frequencies inside of my um, bass drum. I'm going to just go ahead and cut all of those frequencies. So you get kind of like an S shape. All right. And kick it up a little bit. And that's my bass now. 
it's a lot lower it's going to hit a lot harder alright and now I'm going to take it off a of solo so you can hear it with the uh, snare and the hi-hats alright so now as you can tell it's a little bit louder than my uh, my snare and my hi-hats cut it down by using the uh, re-drums level right here use the re-drums level to cut it down and then you come back up here don't add any reverb to your bass it makes it sound muddy but what you're gonna do is I use the EQ for my uh, for my snare I put a little bit of trouble in it and then I throw a little bit of reverb on it. And I put the reverb to gate. And I put it halfway to the dry and wet signal. And that gives me a more... I'm going to go ahead and solo this out. It, it gives a, a more... When you put it on gate and you take away some of the wetness on the signal, it gives it a better uh, a better feel, like a live snare. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and play them now. And then what I like to do with my hi hats is throw a little bit of delay on them. Now you got some nice sounding drums. They gonna hit real hard when you put them on. Um, you don't have to worry about EQ and the hi hat. Just put a little bit of delay on it. Now you got some hard hitting drums. So when you put it into a track, it's gonna you know really liven up the track, make the track uh, bump. You know. Uh, let me just mess around real quick. Throw a quick little bass line on there. Just real quick. As you can see, that's how you uh, get that going. And now you have a little bit more room to work with. Uh, also, when you EQ your bass drum, all these frequencies that you cut down here, that gives you so much more room for your treble. So when you finally get to your final mix, you'll have all the room in the world to uh, put in your mids and your treble. You know, try and keep the bass to the bass side the the mids and the mids and the treble to the treble that's all the eq is helping you do so that way uh you know it sounds a little bit more professional i hope this tutorial helps some guys out if you got any questions about it just hit me up and uh i'll do my best to answer all right peace